Hello, and welcome back to lesson number 26, where we are doing a wonderful series right here at LockhoodMinistries.com, where we are Bible lovers, achieving Christ's knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. If you've been a faithful follower of ours, or you're brand new to our uh, website teachings or YouTube channel, we are doing a wonderful series uh, this year where we're talking about what time is it? If you're a Bible lover and you've been reading your word of God, you know about King Solomon over in the book of Ecclesiastes, where he details so many, probably over 20 some different times that we're going to have to go through in our lifetime. And if you haven't been through any of those yet, keep living, you will be. Well, today we have another great time that we're going to be discussing, and it's going to be the time to embrace. That's right. There is a time to embrace, isn't it? So let's start here. Let's start with what does the word embrace mean? When you think of that word, it means to like enclose, to grasp, to take hold of, to hug, isn't it? Uh, uh, where you are uh, capturing something, embracing it, receiving it. So you can embrace physical things or you can embrace spiritual things. Uh, uh, so let's take a look at something physical. You can embrace um, your children, family, friends. You ever just go visit someone and, uh, and when they open the door, the first thing we do is what? Embrace, or we call it a hug. Same thing, hug, embrace. You can embrace another individual with your loving arms of support. Uh, you can embrace uh, uh, a new dress or a new pair of shoes. You know, you're uh, you're grasping it, you're holding it, you're embracing it. Okay, so those are a, a couple of things on the physical side. But what about your spiritual side? What can you embrace? You can embrace love, joy, peace, kindness. You want to embrace the fruit of the spirit, don't you? You want to embrace uh, someone else's vision, their purpose, their goal. Embrace it when you know it's good for them. But you don't want to embrace something that's not good for anyone. You don't want to partake of that. You don't, you don't want to take hold of that. Some things you don't want to embrace. We already had a lesson on that. But today is going to be a time to embrace. So we can embrace other people's uh, ideas and dreams and visions. So with that being said, we're going to be looking for two things in the scripture. Who is the scripture talking about and what is their time to embrace? What are they embracing? So let's start with uh, Solomon that's going to uh, open us up here. We're going to go to Ecclesiastes chapter three and let's take a look at verse five. Again, Ecclesiastes chapter three, verse five audience, and it reads, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. So there it is. Solomon is giving us that there is a time to embrace. So with that being said, uh, we are looking for, again, who is the scripture talking about and what are they embracing in this time? You know, let me just say this too. You know, we got to be careful of what we're embracing, especially being believers, you know, in, uh, in our Christian society. There are so many false prophets, false ministers, false teachers. There's so many false people out there. They're charismatic. They are persuasive. You know, they give you all the pomp and glitter and glory and they tickle your ears and you embrace their nonsense. You embrace their crazy theology. You embrace their uh, 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 crazy uh, ideas and conspiracy theories. You know, there are some things we don't want to embrace. But we do want to embrace when we're hearing the word of God being spoken and being taught truthfully. You embrace that and you know when to embrace the word of God when you're hearing all these people out here in the world because the world is full of uh, quick pastors and preachers and ministers. Boy, you, uh, uh, they, they uh, get their license in two days and, and they are a pastor. 
So let's be careful of what we are embracing. Read the word of God for yourself. That's why I tell everyone, don't take for what I'm saying. That's why I want you to read your Bible when we're doing these lessons. Read it for yourself so you can know for, uh, for your own self-preservation. All right then, so let's take a look at the next scripture. Talking about it's a time to embrace. Let's go to Proverbs. We're going to take a look at Proverbs chapter two, I mean four, I'm sorry, Proverbs four, okay, Proverbs four, and we're going to read verse eight. Again, now this is Solomon, and Solomon is what? He always gives us wisdom. So let's see what Solomon has to say here, Proverbs four, eight, and it reads, I love this. Matter of fact, let's do seven and eight. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all you're getting, get understanding. Exalt her and she will promote you. She will bring you honor when you embrace her. Ooh, did y'all see that? Can you tell? Is this a physical embrace or is this a spiritual embrace? Mm, and let me give you a second to think on that one. I see it's a spiritual embrace. Did you notice who uh, 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 King Solomon is giving credit to? He's talking about wisdom. We know wisdom is a spirit. So he's saying wisdom is the principal thing. And so Solomon is telling us when we follow wisdom, when we follow her uh, lead, did you notice that Solomon put it in the, in the fem feminine gender, didn't he? So he says, wisdom. He said, is the principal thing. Look what he says in verse eight. Uh, he says, you need to get wisdom in verse seven. You need to get it and get all understanding. He says, now, when you get this understanding and when you get this wisdom, what is wisdom going to do? Did y'all see this? Now, remember, wisdom is a spirit. Spirits are living entities, deities. So he's saying uh, wisdom is going to what? Exalt you. And she's going to what? Promote you. And then... He says, when she exalts you and promote you, and then, and then what are we going to do? We're going to embrace her. Wow. Isn't that awesome? That's a beautiful picture. We can embrace wisdom. You know, when you think about it, uh, uh, when, I, when you go back to the uh, beginning of this lesson uh, with Black Who Ministries, let me just take you back there. When you see Black Who, you see that W right there? That stands for wisdom. We are Bible lovers achieving Christ's knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. Why do we want that? Because we, we've embraced that. We love Christ's knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. That's what the scripture just told us to what? Embrace. And when we embrace that, we now are being promoted, exalted by wisdom. Wow. Talk about a time to embrace. You want to embrace knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. And where do you get that? Where do you get the truth? Right here from the word of God. Didn't God's word tell us that my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge? See, if you don't have knowledge, you, can't have un you cannot understand what you don't know. And if you can't understand what you don't know, you're not going to have wisdom to apply what you don't know. So you, you need to learn, get knowledge, understand what you learn, and then you're going to have wisdom of what you just learned embrace it. Embrace wisdom. She's not going to hurt you. She's going to exalt you and she's going to promote you. You don't have to do it yourself. Wisdom will do it. You know, also, let me just give you this little nugget. I love when I study God's word. He takes me to this research. Wisdom, I found out, is that wisdom regulates our relationship with God. And get this, understanding also is a spirit. And understanding that spirit uh, responds to the Lord. So when we're in the word of God, understanding, uh, when we're uh, asking and looking for answers uh, to the word of God, then understanding responds to the Lord. And this is how we get wisdom. This is how we know that what we're receiving is the truth. So wisdom regulates our relationship. That's why you have a daily diet with God's word, because wisdom is going to re regulate your life with God so you'll be able to get that promotion and she'll be able to exalt you in due time. While I wish I need a whole hour just on that one scripture. So let's take a look at another scripture where we're talking about 
a time to embrace. Let's now go over to the book of Acts. Let's take a look in the New Testament, please. Acts chapter 20, okay. And we're gonna read verse nine and 10, nine and 10. That is Acts chapter 20, verse nine and 10, everyone. Here it is. Remember the key word is what? Embrace. Here we go. And in a window sat a certain young man named Eutychus, who was sinking into a deep sleep. He was overcome by sleep. And as Paul continued speaking, he fell down from the third story and was taken up dead. Uh oh, here it is, verse 10. But Paul went down fell on him and what? Embracing him said, do not trouble yourself for his life is in him. Wow, y'all know the story. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's read 11 and 12. Now, when he had come up, had broken bread and eaten and talked a long while, even till daybreak, he departed. And they brought the young man in alive and they were not a little comforted. So there it is. Y'all know the story. Paul is preaching and teaching, and there's this guy, Eutychus, sitting up in the window. He's listening, and the Paul had preached so long, the man fell asleep and fell out the window for dead. So what did Paul do? You know, Paul had power in him, didn't he? He had healing, miracle power in him. Paul goes down, and, and, and what does the scripture say? He embraced the man. And when Paul embraced this man, what happened with that embrace? The man came back to life, didn't he? See, it's just like with us today. When someone is feeling low, when they have fallen out of their uh, 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 spiritual window, so to speak, not a literal window, but metaphorically speaking, you fall out of a window. In other words, you fall out of a job or you fall out of a relationship. Someone and you, you're like at death's door. You, you, you're despondent. You're depressed. It's, it's amazing when someone calls you up and they're checking in on you and they say, "I'm coming over to visit you." And they, and you open the door and what do they do? They embrace you and all of a sudden you feel their love. You feel their spirit and all of a sudden you come back to life. You're feeling better now. You're getting dressed now. You're putting on your makeup. You're getting your hair done. You're getting your nails done. And this just ain't for women. This is for men. Men, men get depressed too. They need some embracing too. They get up, they go get their hair cut. They take a shave, you know, buy some new clothes or whatever. But that embrace from one individual can change your very life. Who are you embracing? Who, who do you have time to embrace? You know, I do a lot of traveling and I love to travel. I love to meet different people and I go and stay at different people's homes. They invite me to stay in their homes, you know, maybe overnight or two days or three days. And when I go, we just constantly embracing one another, embracing physically or embracing in the word of God, just taking up that word of God, holding on to the word of God as we go from scripture to scripture. All right, then everyone, I pray you're getting this lesson about embracing. I think we have another scripture for you, which we do. Let's take a look at, now we're going to go over to Hebrews chapter 11. And we're going to take a look at verse 13. Hebrews 11, verse 13. All right. These all died in faith. Y'all know Hebrews 11. You know, this is called the hall of faith chapter where this is Abraham and Isaac and Jacob them and Sarah them and Joshua and David them. So all of these individuals collectively, this scripture now is speaking about. So let's see what it says. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off were assured of them. Embrace them and confess that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Wow. So here it is. You got these uh, uh, people in the Old Testament. Many of them believed in God, with God, walked with God, but they died though. They died before Jesus could even come and die for their sins on the cross. But they saw something. They saw something far off, way into the future. They saw the promises of God. And what did they do? 
even though they didn't get them right then and there, many of them, but they embraced the idea. They embraced God's promise. You know, you can embrace a promise of God and he got many promises. So they embraced this promise of God that there was a better country, that there is a better kingdom than where they are right now. What are we embracing today? Are we embracing lunatics that's promise, promising, promising us gold, but giving us dust? Who are we embracing when we turn on our social media platforms? Who are we embracing? Because who you embracing will determine what you are embracing because you're embracing their, their character, you're embracing their, their, uh, their morals or whatever is about them. If you're going along with their program, you're embracing it. Again, there's a time to embrace, and then there's a time not to embrace, and we've covered that lesson too. All right then, everyone. God bless you. Thank you for joining us on this lesson number 26 on today. And as we always do, we want to give a shout out to our social media uh, platform. As many of you know that's been following along with us, we have a social media following, and we encourage you to be one of those with us. So we want, we have a uh, social media, we are, have websites. That's right, we have websites that we uh, promote our videos on and our lessons on. And one of the websites is sourceoutreachministries.com. Sister Sandy uh, is the teacher on those series and she's doing a wonderful teaching on what does the numbers mean in the Bible? You don't wanna miss any of those great lessons. And then we have another website called MyBibleRegistration.com. There is, uh, you can find some more great videos and we encourage everyone at MyBibleRegistration.com, go get your Bible, register your Bible today, make a donation. Register plus donation equals love. And then your cheerful donation is going to go and serve our international ministries and national ministries as well. As you can see on the screen, we are in India, we're in, uh, we're in Tanzania, we're in Malawi, we're in Kenya, we're in Africa, we're in 15 countries right now, sharing the gospel, helping and assisting those that are poor, uh, that's trying to get this message to those that are poorer almost than them. So let's help our brothers and sisters in these foreign nations that they can continue to spread the gospel because why? They are embracing it. They, they come from a, from a religion of uh, Hinduism, uh, Buddha, uh, Buddhist and all of that. So for them to convert and believe in this word of God as us, don't we wanna help them make that donation today so we can help them to get uh, church buildings, instruments, food, shelter, clothing, uh, Bibles, uh, Bible tracts, anything to uh, help them to build up uh, their community for Jesus Christ. All right then, everyone. So we wanna say thank you so much. And, but then also too, we have a YouTube channel. That's why we're on YouTube too. You wanna go over there and you can search and type in the Bible Talk Show. Go to the Bible Talk Show. There you can find all of our videos in one location from all of our websites, sourceoutreachministries.com mybibleregistration.com and this website, blackfruitministries.com. We are right there on the Bible Talk Show on the YouTube channel. And we have a special teaching from one of our students, Sister Gina. She's doing a wonderful series called The Simplicity Series. Boy, she's talking about the seven churches. She did the War of Babylon. And she's talking about the authority and power of the kingdom of God. So many great uh, lessons you don't want to miss her teachings as well. All right, then, everyone. Well, that's going to do it for us here on lesson number 26 at blackfoodministries.com, where we are Bible lovers, achieving Christ's knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. Until this time next week, God bless you all. If you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, we are extending this time and moment to you. Go to our contact page, contact us email, phone, however you want to contact us, that we want to hear from you. And you can join in with us on these videos, be a part and learn even more when you get into the word of God with someone else as a partner. All right, then God bless you all. I'm Minister Love. 
Thank you for being a faithful follower. Hey, listen, don't be, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Take care until this time next week. I'm Minister Love. Take care. Bye-bye.